If you have a Chrysler product, you are going to love today's video. Uh, my wife has got a 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee, and she was having difficulty starting. It would just turn over, turn over, turn over. It would never fire off. So um, I did a little bit of investigating and poked around, and uh, I want to show you what I came up with because I spent about 10 bucks, and it saved me around $800. So you're going to like this video. Here's the part you're looking for. Go to the auto parts store and what you're looking for is a fuse tap. You need two of them to do this project, okay? So you get two of them, put some fuses in there, cut the butt connector off this one, Pop it on in. And bring it out to your Chrysler. You're going to need it. All right. So pop the hood. And to the left side, you're going to find your electronic control module or PCM or TIPM. There's lots of different things they call this. And um, there are other videos out there that show you how to um, figure out what's wrong with this so i'm not going to spend too much time on that i'm going to do a quick version um but it is what's wrong in this case now what you're concerned with and be careful because this right up here your little map of what your what your fuses are is very misleading when it comes to this repair because this calls this fuse right here this little yellow guy calls it a lift pump. Now, that fuse is only a lift pump and a diesel. It's actually an electronic fuel pump and a gas engine. Now, I have power switched on. I'll get my fancy test light here that shows voltage. And you'll see I got... I got voltage in places I need it, but nothing, nothing here. Check it out. Make sure the light works. Oh, look, yeah, it does 11.7 volts. But we check right here on that fuse. It's supposed to have our fuel pump kicking on. And it's going to prime our fuel. Nothing. Which causes it you crank and crank and crank and crank and it won't start. And if it do get it to start, say you spray a little starting fluid in there and it starts, it dies. So, remember that cool little thing we found? We made in the shop a little while ago? Our fuse tap. Let me show you what we're going to do here. Now you'll want to find the power on for the cigarette lighter. And I think that is number seven. So we're going to connect here to seven. And pause it here and make sure I'm getting number seven right. Okay, number seven is right here. And we'll test it and make sure it's getting the power that it's supposed to. Uh, again, our key is in the auxiliary position. It's a 20 amp fuse. And my test light is lit up. We're going to go ahead. And connect.
Let's turn the key over and see what happens. Runs like a champ. So there you are. Forget spending 800 bucks on a new PCM and having somebody put it in for you. Go to the auto parts store, get two fuse taps, wire them together. And again, those fuse numbers are 25 is your electronic fuel pump. Not It's not a lift pump like it's printed on there. It's not. It's your electronic fuel pump in a gas engine. And take it to number seven, which is switched power uh, for auxiliary. So that'll allow your power to get over to that fuel pump when you key on. And power will turn off when you key off. So the fuel pump won't run all night. won't run your battery down. It will only run when your key is on. And that's when you need it to run anyway. So there you go. Save yourself a whole bunch of money. Spend 10 bucks and solve your problem.